Come up with a quadratic equation where the intercept is 5 and one of the roots must be a 2. Okay, so to do this, if you know the root is 2, you know the quadratic is of the form y equals um, x plus, uh, sorry, x um, minus 2 and x uh, plus whatever. Uh, we don't know what, what this root is. We're trying to find a. And also, um, if you know... Uh, a quadratic that passes th that has an intercept of five, then you know it's of the form um, uh, x squared plus b x plus plus five because you know the intercept is five. So let's multiply. Let, let's somehow get from here to here, uh, so we can force uh, a in such a way that it will give us an intercept of five. So uh, multiply this out. So that will then give us uh, x squared. Uh, you're going to have um, plus this times this will be ax, and then this times this will be negative 2x, and then minus 2a. Um, I don't really care about, um, about this, this number here in front of the x. I don't really care about the combination of the two. All that I want is I want to force this to be the number, well, the number negative 5, because, um, because you've got a negative here. So, so what that means is this. What that means is I want this number to be a negative 5. I want this thing here to be a negative, because I've got a negative in there, and I want a positive here. So really, I want this bubble, I want this bubble to be the number 5. That's what I want, because two negatives will give it a positive. So now, A must be negative 5 over 2 that is your a so what this means is this is um this is two and a half 2.5 here because you would put this into here so that would be x minus 5 over 2 you see you, you can tell the roots uh, one of the roots is uh two and a half okay